Tony Bing here, hello and welcome back to another video from Marvel Strike Force. Now, I figured with the, the last two videos that I've done today, that made six videos in the last three days, I could get a rest. And then I actually checked the data mine section on Discord and I found out that I'm not going to get a rest. I've got one more video to do before I can sit down and have my beer for tonight and relax. Now, this one is one that I figured I really had to do a video for because it's a... Uh, a very big issue within uh, the Strike Force community is Red Stars or the controversial Red Stars. Now, this information has been found uh, by Tona on the Discord and he posted this, so I'll run over it and then we'll talk about the potential implications of it. So, you can see if I bring it up here, we've got different promotions for different ratings of Red Stars, so it looks like there may be some kind of progression system put in place and there may also be a targeted system put place as well. But if we start at the top here, we can see you've got the Elite 4 Star Orb and it says that guarantees 4 Red Star promotion or better. So that's essentially what we do have at the moment, but it isn't called an Elite 4 Star Orb. Now with this as well, following on for it, you can see you've got Elite 4 Star Orb Fragments. So what I'm guessing is maybe duplicates up to 3 or 4 star could convert to fragments for this. So it could get a little bit messy with all the different fragments but you would use these to open an elite four star orb and get a chance of getting a hero from four upwards. Now, let's just say for example you were to get a duplicate of a four or a five star. I'm not clear how this would work. But you get a duplicate of a four or a five star. This will then give you fragments toward the elite five star orb and you can see that guarantees five red star promotion or better. You can see the fragments just below it there but it states collect elite five credits by the Elite 5 Orb, and then it's the same for 6, and it's the same for 7 as well, so could this be a way of actually progressing forward, because quite a lot of people pointed out the fact you can almost get backward progression on Red Stars as it is, and it's really not a satisfying long-term mechanic at all in the game. Now, if we go down further on here, we can see it talks about promotion credits, so it says promotion credits times 1, times 5, and times 50. They've all got the same text really. It's used to promote specific characters up to five red stars. The final one is gold promotion credits times one, and that's used to promote specific characters up to six and seven red stars. Now, one of the big issues with red stars was, of course, the fact that there was no way of controlling it, there was just an NG behind it, and you had that backwards progression. So on the surface, getting targeted red stars is definitely something good, but there has to be control there, because if you can choose exactly who you want, and if this is potentially something that's maybe put into the store, then you'll have players that are able to buy pure power straight away. So this is going to be a difficult one to implement, and I know it's something that people complained about, the randomness, and it may sound like people are now complaining about it being specific, but I do think you have to be very careful how this is actually implemented and I hope there's a fair bit of testing and feedback that goes on before they actually bring it in. That's something that we were told to happen with Red Stars but it really goes against the, the community sentiment when they did actually launch. Now that's an update in regards to that. I just want to actually mention the fact on the back of this, the fact that we are getting changes to Red Stars and I say we are because we've got this data mine but someone also posted in the Discord the following screenshot here and you can see the wording of the Red Stars has changed so although this is in data mine and we have the new disclaimers I'm pretty certain this is all bit confirmed at this point. Now for me this news is bigger than Red Stars on its own because at the time when Red Stars were launched a lot of people put two and two together. Did they come up with four? Did they come up with five? I'm not quite sure, but they were guessing that Red Stars were a way to potentially inject money into the game prior to that, the Fox deal happening, so the Strike Force could look as great as it possibly could for any potential maybe buyers or any changes that were going to be made at all. Now, Fox deal is all done and dusted, and with that done, we're starting to see a long-term vision for the game. We've got a new community manager in place, and the contact he's had so far with the community and also the actual content creators has been fantastic. It's night and day to what we've had before, so hats off for that. And we've now got these upcoming changes to what was, I would say without doubt, the most contentious system that had been brought into the game in the, the year that it has been out. So all these signs for me are definitely good. For a while, back in December, I was worried. I was thinking, is this going to be Marvel Heroes Omega 2.0? Have I been cursed in some way and is the game going to go down? But definitely, without a doubt, I'm much happier with the 
the progress that the game's making. Yes, we do have these bugs at the moment. It's unfortunate. We've got the, the bugs that are actually in the most recent build of the game, but the developers, from what I've seen, are actually working through the weekend to resolve them, and they're also communicating about the fact that they're doing that. So it's really awesome stuff, and I can't wait to see where the game goes from here. And we know already we're getting Colossus, so for the Dark Phoenix update, we'll maybe get Cyclops, or we get... Let's see who else could we get. We could get Jean Grey. I think we have to get her for sure. Maybe Iceman, maybe Nightcrawler, who knows. But I'm certainly looking forward to it anyway. <coughs> let me know what you think in the comments below in regards to the future of the game, but in regards to these changes for the Red Stars, because I will stress the fact again, I think there are a lot of implications to changing this system due to how high the power levels would actually go. So it's something that really has to be thought out and tested before they do actually implement it. But let me know in the comments below. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you all again soon. Hey all, Tony Bing here Hello and welcome back to another video for Marvel Strike Force. Now, today we have Shuri Unlock, which means we can now use the Wakandans to their full potential in raids. So I'll have two videos. I'll have the Ultimus Raid 6, but I still need that to reset. And I'll have the Thanos Raid 3, and that's what we'll cover in this particular video, because I've got a, a lane that my lines have left for me to run through. So thanks to them for doing that for me. And here we go, really. Let's jump in and, and see how we get on. So we're going up the far right here, it starts off really early, so we'll, we'll very likely smash the first couple of nodes, but it'll still be interesting to see anyway, hopefully. This first match we'll keep it on times one, and then in the later ones, once we've seen all the animations, we'll put it on times two. Now you'll notice I'm missing Killmonger, because unfortunately in this raid you have hero-only nodes, you also have villain-only nodes, which really won't work for the Wakandans at all, unfortunately, but we can Would show them buy? off here anyway, and we do have some nodes where you can choose either set up really you can choose the heroes or the villains. You wondering what you buy? We go. We're gonna get a lot of chains here by a Black Panther. Okay. There's Electra coming back and when you smash her down again. Okay. Let's actually go for the, the ultimate here so we get the two kills. We build the speed bar twice and he dodged. Can't believe that happened. Are you kidding me? Electra, come on. Will it happen again? No, it didn't. Okay. So next up here, let's see. Once Black Panther gets going, really, no one stands a chance. There we go. Somebody else is getting another turn now, so we've got shooting. So let's see this here. You can see all the charges, all the energy flying out. Defense up, immunity, deflect. And we'll see. Ah, uh, let's see, we've got heal block on in Baku. He actually resisted it. That's really nice. And we've been stripped there of our buffs, unfortunately. Let's now go for the ultimate here. He should cast it again because he's got the kill on it. I believe that's how it works. Okay, it's nice. <clears throat> The vodka by. Um, I'm going to miss here, so we'll just use the basic. By Let's one go more for the up. Yeah. Let's him down. Am I. I'm going to love this slow here, but it's because I only have four like characters, because I purposely did put in a fifth character that wasn't a Wakandan member. Now, the clock's ticking down. Let's actually put it on times two. Aye. Mm -hmm. Let's see Aye. in a moment. You should see him back who's healing up if he actually needs it. I'm not sure he will, what though. You Don't need the healing here at all. Yeah, you can see that very small heal there. So, the way it works with him back in raids is 
and he has the charges if someone attacks him and he can gain charges by actually taunting up, then you're, you're forcing someone to attack him. And because he's got such a high chance to actually block the damage, you'll probably heal for more than they do. So you're, you're forcing an enemy to, in a very roundabout way, actually heal you. So that's the first node, so let's jump into okay. the next one. Okay. This next node, once again, is hero only, so no killmonger. Pretty easy enemies as well, so I'll try and blast through it as quickly as I can here. Now, let's 